fresh protests both for and against the government <laughs> are planned in Egypt after the government news agency reported that the former president Mohamed Morsi was being questioned about his links to Hamas. Matt Bradley is in Cairo. Matt, um, this is the first we have heard of Morsi since he was toppled from power way back on July 3rd. That's right. He's been uh, in for about three weeks. He's been sort of hidden from view. He's been uh, his family says he's been kidnapped. He's been held incommunicado along with some of his top lieutenants by the military who deposed him more than three weeks ago. So uh, human rights groups have been saying that this is this is really not kosher as far as uh, as far as governments, as far as the treatment of a former president are concerned. And it's been harder for the military to say that they're not. They haven't executed a military coup when they're holding the former president for three weeks without charge. And so now we're finally starting to see some, some real charges, and they are very serious charges indeed. So exactly what is this link with Hamas? Well, uh, if you talk to some of the foreign diplomats here, if you talk to some of the Brotherhood leaders, they will say that this is entirely made up, that these, uh, these allegations are totally ridiculous, and they're just being done to trump up not only anger against the Brotherhood, but there's that kind of xenophobia that really resonates with the Egyptian public. Uh, as you, if you've been following Egypt for the last two and a half years, and if you've been following the Arab world, it's very easy to see how people in power are able to use um, kind of hatred or suspicion of the other in order to justify any move they make, any extraordinary procedures, security or otherwise that they might have to do. So this is really just a, a you could put it in that context that associating the Brotherhood with Hamas and accusing the Hamas people of acting in thrall with the Brotherhood. To, uh, to, to do terrorism attacks in the Sinai Peninsula and to spring some of these Brotherhood leaders out of jail two and a half years ago. A lot of this is, is really aimed at, at, at inflaming public opinion against the Brotherhood and some of their Islamist backers. I mean, it's interesting because it's the military strongman um, that it, El Sisi that is calling for these protests um, against terrorism. That's right. This is really, I, I believe this is the first time in Egyptian history where a military leader has really gone on stage and demanded that the people protest. Uh, normally, these protests are seen by the military as uh, somewhat suspicious, uh, somewhat, um, somewhat, uh, you know, un destabilizing, uh, even though they have benefited from them in the past. But this is really a, a very big move as far as Sisi was concerned. When two days ago he stood up and told the Egyptian public, please go down in your legions, in your millions, and give me a mandate to really take care of these uh, Brotherhood characters. It's not quite clear how he's going to use that mandate, whether or not this means that he's going to launch some sort of extrajudicial or extra-legal crackdown on the group. Um, it's, but what is clear, from my perspective at least, is that we're going to see huge numbers today uh, taking up CC's call and demanding that something be done about the maybe hundreds of thousands of people who are still camped out in Rabah Ladawaya Square, which is not far from here, uh, in downtown Cairo. So, so Matt, essentially here, the, the, the rhetoric itself is just being escalated more and more. Exactly. Uh, and up to today, up to hours before these protests are planned. So it's, it's really, it's, it's a critical moment here. The air in, in, in Cairo is, is really kind of, it's filled with this, this feeling of impending doom, not to be too dramatic. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a very important moment because we're having the, the generals asking basically, for permission from a public that is, uh, that is inflamed with anger and tension to crack down on the Brotherhood. Uh, the Brotherhood has been elected time and time again for the last two and a half years. So, really, it's just a palpable feeling that a confrontation is imminent. Matt, thank you very much.